Mathematics, Paper 2, 2018, GCE, Question 3A. And uh, here is our Venn diagram under consideration. And the question reads, the diagram below shows how learners at to attend a school travel to school. The learners use either buses, cars, or walk to school. And this is the Venn diagram that is showing uh, how many learners use buses, how many learners use cars, and how many learners walk. Question number one. If 22 learners walk to school, find the value of x. If 22 learners walk to school, find the value of x. So for our question 1 there, we are going to indicate, okay, this is a question 3a, part 1. So the 22 which they have given us is the total number of, of, of learners who walk to school. So for us to find x, we are going to add everything that we have under the set for those that walk. So we have 4 plus x plus 3 plus 7, that should be equal to 22. So we are only considering the people that walk so this is the set under consideration so we add the values there then it should be equal to 22 so there we are going to group the like terms x plus 4 plus 3 plus 7 it should be equal to 22 and so we have our x there 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 7 is 14, so we have plus 14 is equal to 22 in that way. After we do that, okay, our x should be equal to 22 take away 14 so our x there is going to be equal to two take away 14 that should be 8 as our answer so we have answered question 1 that's the answer that we are looking for we go to the second part of the question our b the question for B is how many learners use A? How many learners use? So our A there is how many learners use only one mode of transport? How many learners use only one mode of transport? So to find how many learners use only one mode of transport, um, we, we are going to go with these ones. These only use bus, these they use cars, and these they walk. So bus, car, walking. So we add our 14 there, plus our 7, plus our 7. And when we add everything there, our answer should be 18 minutes. So add leaners to that one. And we go to our B. Our B says how many learners use two different modes of transport? How many learners use two different modes of transport? So two different modes of transport there. We are now looking at um, the intersections so you can consider this one this is the intersection of 
buses and cars. So this tool represents those who sometimes use bus and sometimes also use cars. So this so we have two plus we we'll come to this other intersection there. So this represents the those who use two modes of transport. Sometimes they use cars, sometimes they walk. So you have three plus we come to this other intersection here representing those who sometimes use buses and sometimes they walk so that's our four there and if you add two plus three plus four we have our answer being nine liners So nine learners use two different modes of transport. So that's it for the question that we had for GCE under sets 2018. We now move on to talking about or rather answering our internal paper. We look at sets for 2018. November So now we are looking at mathematics 2018 paper 2 for the internal students exam which was written in November and we are dealing with question 2b The question reads at Sambili Leni College 20 students study at least one of the three subjects, mathematics, chemistry, and physics. All those who study chemistry also study mathematics. Three students study all the three subjects, four students study mathematics, and eight, and eight students study chemistry, and 14 students study mathematics. Question number one, draw the diagram to illustrate this information. Draw the Venn diagram to illustrate this information. So now we are going to draw the Venn diagram to illustrate the information that we have been given. So we are now drawing our Venn diagram. Universal set we've been told that we have students that study mathematics. Okay. We have students that study chemistry. And we have students that study physics. The question says all those who study chemistry also study mathematics. Three students study all the three subjects. So we'll start with the three students. So this middle most part represents the intersection for all the three subjects mathematics, chemistry and physics so that's why we put our three and we are told four students study mathematics only four students study mathematics only so we have our four for those who study mathematics only 
Eight students study chemistry. Eight students study chemistry. Study chemistry. And fourteen students study mathematics. And fourteen students study mathematics. Now, we have been taught, let's first settle this intersection here between mathematics and chemistry. We have been taught in our question that all those who study chemistry also study mathematics. And the total of all the students that study chemistry are eight. So what it means is here, chemistry only, for students who study chemistry only, it is zero. Because they've told us that all the students that study chemistry also study mathematics. So which means that the only uh, students who study chemistry who have to come here. So we already have three students studying chemistry. So the total number of students who study chemistry are eight. So if we already have three there, we subtract eight, take away three, we have five, our five there. So when we add 5 and 3, it gives us our 8. So the question tells us, 8 who study chemistry, they also study mathematics. So we settled that issue. That's the 8 which we are talking about there. And then our last part of the question says 14 students study mathematics. 14 students study mathematics. 14 students study mathematics, we have... We are remaining with that part, the intersection. What do we put in our intersection there? So this is what we do now. We are trying to find out about the 14 students who study mathematics. So to have a value there, we know that um, that would be our 4 plus 5 plus 3. Let's say we are looking for x there. The total should be equal to 14. So when we add 4 plus 5, it's 9 plus 3, that's our 12, plus x, which would give us 14. So our x is equal to 14, take away 12, and our x is equal to 2. So the value that we put there is 2. 2 becomes our value in there. 2 is our value there. And then the last part now will be to deal with physics. So we've, we've been told about the people who study mathematics, and we have been told about the people that study chemistry. But then what is silent in the question is the people who study physics only. Now for us to find the people who study physics only, it takes us back to the main question that we had, we were told that 20 students study at least all these three subjects. So they've told us about mathematics and about chemistry, but they've been silent about physics. So for us to get the value of physics, we need to add what we have already there, and what we are going to remain with is going to be the ones for physics only. So, for us to get that value, we are going to add our 4 plus our 5 plus our 3 plus our 2 plus our 0, it should be equal, pardon me, plus, let's say the value we are looking for for physics is x again, it should be equal to 20. 4 plus 5, 9, plus 3, 12, plus 2, 14, plus 0 is still 14, so looking at 14, plus x should be equal to 20, so our x is equal to 20, take away 14, x is equal to 6. How has the 14 come this side? You group the leg terms, when it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a negative, and there we have it. So, physics, we have a 6. 
So you may ask yourself the question, maybe you are wondering how, why have we written the 6 here and not in there? Okay, so if the 6 was supposed to be in the intersection, they would have mentioned that physics and chemistry had intersected in this way, but they have not mentioned anything, so which is pretty much obvious that these 6 which remains were those people that took physics only. Question number two. Let's answer our part two of question B. Okay, so part two A there of question B. Part two of section B says, How many students study physics only? So it's just what we are from solving there. We pretty much do the same process. What we did here is the very things that happen here. So because we've already done it to get the 6 there, you just put your value 6 students. B. How many students study two types of subjects only? How many students study two types of subjects only so there we are looking at the intersections of two subjects only so we have from here to here from there to there and also from there to there which so this one has nothing so we won't even include it so only looking at the values 2 plus 5 and when you add that it gives us 7 students Now, but C, our question C there is how many students study mathematics and physics but not chemistry? How many students study mathematics and physics but not chemistry? Okay, so this four. Is a number of is, is the number of students who study mathematics only. That six is the number of students who study physics only. However, the question has asked us to find the number of students who study physics and mathematics. So we just get what we have in our intersection being two representing those who study both mathematics and physics. So our answer there we say two students. If you do that then you acquire all the maths given for the sixth question.